Central Library is hosting a classic Hollywood film series that features Indiana actors, writers, and filmmakers. Hoosiers in Hollywood is being presented in partnership with the Indiana Historical Society. The next film showing will be the 1952 classic musical comedy Singin' in the Rain presented on Sunday, November 15th at 2 p.m. again here at Central Library. Sean Davidson is with uh, the Central Library's adult reference team and he's helped organize Hoosiers in Hollywood. Sean, thanks for joining us. What about the concept for this series and how it came about? It really all started with David Smith, who's um, well known in the area as a television personality. He hosted when movies were movies. He's a longtime professor at Ball State University. And most recently, he's the author of the fabulous book, uh, Hoosiers in Hollywood, mm -hmm. which is really an encyclopedia of just about anybody from Indiana who's been in a movie, who worked on a movie, directed a movie, any part of the movie making process. And to celebrate all the Hoosiers that have been in Hollywood, the library has partnered with the Historical Society to showcase the talent that came out of Indiana. And mm -hmm. we're, you know, uh, showing these films to the public and making it accessible to everyone. <laughs> and uh, again, the next film showing will be the 1952 classic musical Singing in the Rain starring mm -hmm. Gene Kelly and who's your native Jean Hagen, she's actually from Elkhart, Indiana. Many people may not be aware of her. Yes, yeah, she moved here as a child, and even though she's not a native, she spent her teenage years here. Like you said, she graduated from Elkhart High School in Elkhart, and mm -hmm. she really considers that a big part of her life and really influenced her as her work in her work in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. And she really steals the show in Singing in the Rain. Of course, everyone knows the Gene Kelly moment when he's splashing through the, the puddles and with course, the umbrella. Yeah, of course, That's great. and Debbie Reynolds too, but Jean Hagen really steals the show, mm -hmm. and it's, it's neat to think that she came from Indiana. And again, that is on Sunday, November 15th at 2 p.m. What is David L. Smith's role in this series? He's actually going to be present. Yeah, we, we're lucky enough to have him at, present at every uh, screening, and he'll be doing an introduction for every movie and kind of give a behind-the-scenes look at the making of the film and do uh, short biographies on the Hoosier natives wow. um, that are present in each film. And it's, we just had Giant um, in August, or uh, October, I'm sorry, yeah. with starring James Dean. And he mm -hmm. really did a, a great profile of James Dean and his life here in Indiana. And it, he's just a great addition to the program. The book that you mentioned, Hoosiers in Hollywood by David L. Smith, is part of the library's collection, mm -hmm. available for checkout. That's a huge book. That's it's, almost a tome. Yeah. I think people, some people may be surprised at the level of representation that Indiana has in Hollywood. That's true. Um, people you, you know of, the James Dean, Carol Lombard, you might know, have heard of them and their Hoosier background. Mm -hmm. But like you said, there are a lot of people um, from Indiana that you might not realize had a major part in the movies. And it's, it's just a great, it's impressive. A great read. Uh, the next film to be shown after we get through November and December. It will be on December 20th at 2 p.m. at Central Library. Meet Me in St. Louis, starring Judy Garland, of <laughs> course, but then uh, some other Hoosier actors. Yeah, the supporting role is Marjorie Main, mm -hmm. and then the dad, Leon Ames. He's from Portland, Indiana. Marjorie Main from Acton. Um, and then in January, Marjorie Maine comes back in oh. more of a familiar role as Ma Kettle. Oh, yes. So <laughs> people <laughs> really enjoy that with uh, In the Egg and I with Fred McMurray. Mm -hmm. And it's just, <laughs> what else can you say what about What fun. Yeah, what a Ma great Kettle. film. Uh, we might as well go ahead and mention mm -hmm. the remaining films. You've got January, The Egg and I, mm -hmm. and then it continues in February and March. February on Valentine's mm -hmm. Day. If you're looking for something a little different, you might come out to the library and see the original Mr. and Mrs. Smith, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. And it's not your average Hitchcock film. It's more of a screwball comedy, but it stars Carol Lombard and Robert Montgomery. Uh -huh. And it, all the, the twists and turns of that story as they fall in and out of love and back in love again, and it's just <laughs> great. <laughs> and then in March? And in March, we end the series with a great sports film, Eight Men Out. And while there's no Hoosier natives acting, um, it was filmed right here in Indianapolis. You'll yeah. recognize the old Victory Field out on 16th Street. Um, it was also filmed in Evansville, and they have a great ballpark there. 
Mm -hmm. and so you'll see you'll see some familiar places in Eight Men Out. What a great setting to view these films. Central Library's Clues Auditorium. <laughs> it's a perfect great for a facility. movie. Absolutely, we can take the lights down. It's like you're in the movie theater. You're you're back to the days when these movies were uh, presented on the big screen, and it's a, it's a great chance to see some of these films on are the, the screen. Are the films actually shown on a DVD format? However, yeah, it is a DVD. Yeah. So, which actually has some advantages. You can clean up the video and it looks great on the screen here at the Clues Auditorium. Okay. And, and the sound's great. It's just a great atmosphere. Well, Sean, well done on or organizing the film series, Hoosiers in Hollywood. And again, the next film showing will be on Sunday, November 15th, 2 p.m., Clues Auditorium here at Central, Singing in the Rain, starring Gene Kelly and Indiana native Gene Hagen. And for more information, you can visit our website at imcpl.org.